Hello, this is another video brought to you by FlipWebsites.com and today I'm going to show you how to transfer a domain name from one registrar to another. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to go from GoDaddy.com to Namecheap.com and vice versa. And I'm using these two because they're the two more popular uh, registrars for website flippers and really for internet marketers in general. Now the process of transferring a domain is pretty much the same no matter what registrar you use and the process is one unlocking the domain two getting the authorization code or the transfer code and then three initiating the transfer process so let's uh, just go through these steps on a, on a real high level here I'm not gonna actually show you from beginning to end because I don't actually have a domain that needs to be transferred right now but I'm gonna show you enough steps here that will that you'll be able to get going in the right direction and you should be able to figure it out based on everything I'm going to show you here. So let's pretend you are the owner of a domain and that's registered at daddy.com and you have to transfer it to a buyer who has an account with namecheap.com. So again, the first thing is we have to unlock the domain and get the authorization code. So here I am, I'm logged into godaddy.com and what you want to do is you want to go to the the domain manager. So I'll just go ahead and click on that. And let's say this first uh, domain here, businessmadeeasier.com, I'm going to uh, transfer this because I just sold it. So you click on the domain. And the first thing is you want to go here where it says domain information. Now it says right now that, that is, it is unlocked. So in this case, I'm good to go. But if it was locked, uh, if it was showing a status of locked, you would just go under here under manage and go ahead and, and unlock it. Then down here, authorization code. All you're going to do is click on the send by email link. Okay? And just click on that and, and follow the steps. It just asks you for um, a confirmation. Let's go ahead and just click on it here. It just says here that um, we're going to send it to your email. So you just hit OK. And it'll send you that authorization code. All right? Once those two steps are done, then you just notify the buyer that, hey, the domain is unlocked. I have the authorization code. You know, here it is. You can go ahead and, and start the, the uh, uh, transfer process. The buyer then will log into their account. So let's uh, pretend here the buyer is over at Namecheap.com. So then they will go here and they're going to go to transfer your domains to Namecheap. And what they're going to do is they're just going to enter the name of the domain and they're going to hit the transfer button and what this takes you to is basically a shopping cart and so the process is just like you are registering a brand new domain at namecheap.com and that you just go through the shopping cart checkout you know enter your payment information and hit you know confirm payment and you're good to go all right once after you get through the shopping cart um, process because you started it as a transfer and not a new registration what will happen is if you go to your account here, let's go to Manage Domains. Over here, there's the transfers. Okay, there will be, if we go ahead and hit Transfers in Progress, right in here, it'll tell me that there is a pending transfer. And what you'll do is you'll just click on the link. I, I can't remember what the process is. It's been a while since I've actually transferred a domain, but. Um, you'll select it or click on it again it'll be very straightforward and it'll at that point ask you to enter that authorization code so you'll just go ahead and enter that authorization code that you were given uh, or that was provided by the the seller or the current owner of the domain and you'll just continue through the transfer process because once you enter that authorization code everything kind of takes care of itself emails will be sent to you and the current owner by the registrars just saying, you know, this is what's been done, here's what you need to do, and literally you just kind of follow the emails and follow the prompts here within the pending uh, transfers. At that point, everything is, is really straightforward. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to transfer from Namecheap to GoDaddy. So let's say now you are, again, the sell. now you're the seller in your domains at Namecheap. You have a buyer who has an account over at GoDaddy.com. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your account again, and we're going to manage our domains. And again, let's say this was the domain here that we just sold, or the website that we sold. So we got to transfer the domain. And of course, doing video, it's going to take forever. Okay, there we go. 
Now on the left side here, there's the registrar lock. So you'll just go ahead and click on that. Because remember, the first thing we have to do is we have to unlock the domain. And it's telling me that it's locked. So I want to go here to release the registrar lock. And before I hit save changes, I want to get that authorization code. So I'll just go ahead and click on this. And it brings over the domain, asks me for my password, tells me, you know, asks me why I'm leaving, which I'm really not. I'm just transferring a domain, but go ahead and fill that out. And then you're just going to click on the get EPP code for my domain. And once you click on that, right here within your account, it will tell you what the code is. And so you'll just hang on to that. And then again, just make sure you go back to this and you hit save changes. So now as the seller, you've, you've released the domain, you have unlocked it, and you got your EPP code. So then what you'll do is you'll give the buyer a heads up and let them know, okay, you can initiate the transfer now. I've unlocked the domain, and here's the authorization code. Now your buyer then will go into GoDaddy. So let's go here. So now the buyer's in the domain manager over at GoDaddy. And if you go up here to pending transfers or domains pending transfers, they will go here. And right here's big banner, transfer your domain here. And just go ahead and click on that. And then what the uh, buyer is going to do then is enter the domain that's being transferred and hit go. And then you're going to go through the process again over here, just as if you were buying a brand new or registering a, a brand new domain at GoDaddy, you'll go through the shopping cart process, you go through the checkout process. Now, the one slight different thing is here with GoDaddy, once you get through the shopping cart process and you pay for the transfer, it sends, GoDaddy sends a transaction ID and a security code to the current owner of the domain. Okay, in this case, would be the seller of the domain, the guy that's got the account over at Namecheap. He's, he or she's going to get an email from GoDaddy with the security code and a transaction ID. All right. So then what you're going to do as a buyer, again, you're going to go back up into Domain Manager. And you're going to click on that Pending Transfers again. But now right here it says you don't have any pending transfers because we had, didn't actually do a transfer. But if we had gone through the entire process that I just showed, there would be... Um, you, you'd see the transfer of that domain, a pending transfer. And you'd click on that, and what it's going to ask for is the security code and the transaction ID. Again, so you'll have to get that from the seller, and you'll just let them know, hey, GoDaddy should have sent you an email with these two bits of information. Can you please give those to me? You'll enter those two bits of information, and then along the process, you'll also be asked for the authorization code, which the seller also has from Namecheap. So they'll, the seller is going to give you three bits of information, the authorization code, the security code, and the transaction ID. So there's two more codes, if you will, um, that GoDaddy requires to transfer uh, to them. And then you'll go, you'll, after you enter those three codes, the transfer process will kind of go, go through. Again, just follow all the the emails you get and the processes that you see here in the pending trans transfers uh, screen and you'll be good to go.